Arguably the most popular interior swaps out there, Ford owners have been swapping higher trim level interiors into their F-150s or Subaru Ds since the early 2000s when better quality options became available. But what gave Ford the idea to go above and beyond with their interiors and really just give a shit and a competitive edge to create their heritage and storytelling around? Is the King Ranch the best interior on the market? And who thought of putting massaging seats in your Platinum? Today, we're gonna dig into the Ford history a little bit and figure out what makes their interiors so great and which one might be best for you. Before we start, I just wanna say that all I can think about for this video is that meme of the Ford trim levels and what each trim level has for an occupation. If you're in the Ford forums and groups, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But anyways, so back in 1978, Ford came out with their first luxury trim. There's a tilt steering wheel, spacious, comfortable Lariat cab, and other new options like integral CB radio. Yes, get new comfort in a car-like ride in one top truck, Ford. And ever since then, they've kind of just been known for having some of the best interior options, amenities, and overall comfort level out of any pickup, completely redefining a pickup truck from a vehicle for work and turning them into an all around comfy vehicle with a cab that has some of the same features as your sedan, but with a bed to throw shit in and be able to haul a hell of a lot more. See, when I can say it all at once, it sounds cool as shit. Yeah, that was even better. As much as I love talking about old Fords, for time's sake, we're gonna skip to the early 2000s because that's when Ford's cool shit really opened up the throttle and expanded into a lot of what you see today. If you like OBS Fords as much as me, I think I've got like a 20 minute video about everything you could possibly want to know about them. It's right here, I think it's on this side. Right here, just click on the little banner icon, card thing if you want to watch it. It might be on this side, I don't know. But you should definitely finish watching this video first and then watch that one. Or you know, you could just hit the old hangle dangle subscribe button thing and stay up to date on all of our badass videos at Custom Offsets, but I can't tell you what to do. I can just give you some super sick suggestions, okay? When the 10th gen F-150s first came out, wait, hang on. I don't wanna lose you. I know the 10th gen F-150s are kinda like the ugly duckling in the Ford body styles, and I can say that because I owned one, but 10th gen introduced some cool shit, albeit they could have done better with their exteriors, but anyways. My 1997 F-150 that I bought from my grandparents as my first vehicle was a Lariat, which in 1997 was like super fancy. It had tan leather interior with lariat stitched on the backrest and the new age Ford Classic two-tone with the lower tan line down by the rockers. You know, it wasn't like the two-tone like the cool OBSs have, it was like a different two-tone. Not quite the same, but whatever. Honestly, I think that was about it though. I added some sick lariat decals on the bedsides because I was in graphic design class in high school and could make stickers whenever I wanted, so of course I had to make those, but anyways. That introduced a lot for Ford because a few years later in 2001, Ford released probably their most iconic partnership to date. The Ram Ranch, wait, shit. I mean the King Ranch trim. Unique saddle brown interiors with soft leather instead of the hard cracking leather that early Lariats had. These trucks all of a sudden had a much nicer feel inside and still had the spark plug issues because, you know, 5.4 liter Triton things. But anywho, Ford brought King Ranch to their Super Duties a couple of years later in 2003. They always had their XLT trims, their Lariat trims, and now their King Ranch trim. Over the years, the trucks got better body lines, technology got better, and the tiers got much nicer as well. The 2010s produced some of the best years of King Ranch interior, in my opinion, and became some of the most sought after swaps for all shapes and sizes. Super Duty King Ranch interiors and OBSs might just be one of my favorite things out there. Here I am talking about OBSs again. I'm sorry, I'll stay focused. In 2011, Ford did a little something to keep them on top with their interiors, and yes, they were first. Toyota and Nissan copied the trim name a few years later, which I'm kind of confused on how they even like legally did that because that's like, like that's, a, that's a trademark thing, isn't it? Like, I don't know legality wise, but it just seems wrong. You don't see Samsung selling the Samsung iPhone. No, it's an Apple iPhone. So anyways, while you're wearing your Nike Yeezys and driving your imported truck around, Ford owners got the new best of the best. Ford moved away from the Western theme of the King Ranch interiors when introducing the all new 2011 Ford F-150 Platinum. More city themed with a sleek all black interior and a flashy silver panel on the tailgate because you know, when you're spending $80,000 on a pickup truck, 
You better at least be able to flex that you've got massaging seats that cool your butt while your windshield wipers sense the rain and go off on their own. And the headlights go off on their own too. Pause. Please hold. As the 13th generation F-150 started to roll out and then the new Illumiduties a couple of years later, Platinum no longer held its spot at the top of the pack for Ford trim levels. As if your King Ranch or Platinum options weren't enough, you now had a new limited trim to basically have everything you didn't know existed packed into your daily driver. Fun fact, in 2018, Ford became the first company offering a $100,000 truck with the debut of the limited trim Ford F-450. What does this new limited trim get you? The new F-150 Limiteds came out with a high output 3.5 liter V6, which was like the same that the Raptors had, just without the cool wide body fenders or off-road shocks. But you could make your own wide body fenders and off-road shock custom Raptor Limited. The interiors are also extremely unique and high-end with tans and browns that also reminisce the King Ranch interiors, but not quite as bold of a leather color. So if you want a brand new Ford truck, what are you looking for at current trim level offerings? No, get, get out of here. Ford offers for both the half tons and super duties an XL, XLT, Lariat, King Ranch, and Limited. Sure, there's like the Tremors and Raptor offerings that are kind of tossed in there too. And I don't know about you, but those just seem more like a special edition trim and not your true like trim levels when you go to figure out which trim level is best for you, but you can be the judge, you're the one buying it. The XLs and XLTs came standard with an eight inch touchscreen, which is a lot bigger than some base models and other trucks in years past. I know Jerry's 2015 had like a three inch screen that wasn't even touched, but was just big enough to see the reverse cam that came standard on like, well, everything nowadays. The XLT adds just a few features over the XL to make it a little more comfortable of a daily driver. Heated mirrors and running board options give you a little more functionality while chrome bumpers on the XLT give a little bit more class and just like a less basic look. Once you get into the Lariats, you get standard leather seats, and if you can find yourself a pretty decently optioned out one, you can have pretty much everything that the Platinum has, aside from probably like massaging seats and the fancy tailgate. At least that's how our Lariat was that became the Archon K350. Banker wanted all of the fancy options possible, but didn't care about the massagers and didn't want the Platinum tailgate just because he needed everything to be color matched to flow into the wrap design. King Ranch trim is next above the Lariat with an $11,000 jump up from the standard optioned Lariat. You get a beautiful interior and some unique exterior paint options only available to the King Ranch trim. Just barely more expensive then is the next trim, which is the Platinum. Like we talked about, it's very similar to the King Ranch, but just has a, I'd say a more tamed interior for someone who wants high end and classy, not high quality and wild west. Then at the very top, Starting at $73,105 for an F-150 for a half ton is your limited trim. Painted to match bumpers, exclusive high-end interior, higher output engine, the limited isn't limited in all its features as it quite literally has it all. I just don't think Ford could call it the Ford F-150 inclusive because it just doesn't sound quite the same. I don't know, doesn't have a right ring to it. But maybe it's the price that keeps people limited as you're definitely spending a big old chunk of change on one of the best pickups on the market. Glenn has an F-250 Limited, and I didn't really know much about them until I saw his, and you can just tell from the interior quality and the unique pearl paint that these trucks are more than just a pickup. That's gotta be the reason why he literally got limited for a custom license plate. They're crafted with a focus on having you loving this thing for the next 10 years, which is good, because I'd probably need about that long to pay off one of those bad boys anyways. Whether you love them or hate them, you can't deny that Ford has had some pretty iconic interiors over the years, and I may be a little biased, but I think that they've set a precedence that other manufacturers have been trying to chase for the last couple of decades. Just gonna say it. From the King Ranch introduction to the now top tier limited trim, Ford has something for everyone and everyone for something. That didn't make sense, but I'm just gonna go with it. Which Ford trim is your favorite? Is the King Ranch interior more hyped up than it ought to be? I can't call it, but what I can call is that you can check out wheels, tires, suspension, and performance for your Ford or any truck from customoffsets.com. See what I did there? I'm Judy with Custom Offsets, and that's all we got for you guys today. Peace. Ford's rule, ramps, interiors are probably not that good, but I can't say they suck because we like all builds. And be- <coughs> <coughs> <coughs>
Oh God. And be <laughs> I had like a bubble in my throat. <clears> throat> Teen naked cowboy. God damn it. <laughs> Don't put that in the video. Don't put that in the video. The interiors are also extremely unique when. <clears throat> <coughs> what the fuck was that? 